Yeah, well, when you see the results of the rapid test, it's positive. Sometimes that line can be bold, but other times you like have to hold it up to the light just to see it. So does that mean you have less virus or are less contagious? Unfortunately, our experts verified it's hard to tell. Let's verify. Does the faintness of a line on an antigen test tell you anything about how contagious you are or if the virus is on its way out? To find out, we went to three testing experts, Dr. Amish Adalja and Dr. Gigi Granval, both from Johns Hopkins University, and Dr. William Maurice from the Mayo Clinic. They all agree. If your test is positive, irrespective of the faintness on an antigen line, you should consider yourself contagious and infected. So what does the faintness of the positive line mean? There's a lot of reasons why the, that line could be faint. One could be you don't have much virus in there. Another could be poor reactivity. Another could be poor specimen. Like you're positive, you're still producing virus. So, um, so it's interesting, but does it make a difference? Um, we don't know exactly how much virus you need to transmit to somebody else. So let's bring it all home. Basically, all our experts agreed. The faint line could mean you have less virus, but we don't know. The tests aren't designed to measure viral loads. They also could be faint because of a problem with the test, either from a bad test or user error. So to be safe. If you're positive, treat it as a positive, irrespective of how bright or faint it is. And think of it as positive until it is unequivocally negative. So we can verify, no, our experts say the faintness of the line doesn't tell you much. So we can verify, no, our experts say the faintness of the line, like I saw said there, doesn't tell you much. The key point is that two years in, we still don't know how much of this virus is needed to be contagious. And even if you are only a little sick, we still don't know if that delivers heavy loads of the virus to the next person. A lot of things we're learning and still continue to ask questions about, and we'll be bringing them to you both here on WSA9.com. Tony?